Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Josh SDH and I'm coming to you live from my corner. Um, this is actually where I do all of my video editing and any of the stuff I do for Minecraft videos or back in the Terraria or any of the other games I'm playing. Um, I thought I'd put this live one out because I had a few people ask me how I actually shoot and edit my videos. So this is kind of an introduction to show you that. Now the first part, the most important part, is getting the footage into these computers. And actually, whoop, that's my dog dropping stuff. Uh, Actually, what I do is I do all of my uh, editing, for the most part, in Sony Vegas on a PC. Uh, but if you've seen my Digception uh, video, which is really... Uh, I had to render it like four different times. I went back and forth from the Mac to the PC to the Mac to the PC. Um, but really, most of everything I do is in Sony Vegas on the PC, and uh, I'll have links to that software. Uh, I think it's about 80 bucks when I got on sale on Amazon. Um, and then I capture everything on the computer in fraps. And so I'm actually going to jump into Fraps now. We're going to shoot a little quick mini episode, and uh, you'll actually see the editing process. So if you find this interesting, great. And if you're not interested in, in what I'm doing, that's cool too. Uh, but you might as well go to the next video then, because uh, that's what this one's going to be. So we'll see you all in a bit. Hey, everybody. So here we are on my desktop, and I'm um, just making sure my Fraps video is actually working. And so I uh, open up Fraps, which is right here, and I'm starting to record. And so I get my little frame right up in the corner. And now I'm going to open Minecraft, and, and Fraps has been a little wonky if I try to open up a gaming window while I'm running it on the desktop. So it might freeze up, it might stutter, uh, we'll find out. And in fact, that's what it does. It, it really slows down uh, Minecraft from opening. Um, but we can wait it out, and eventually it'll pop up. And the reason I'm doing this versus having Minecraft open when I start Fraps is it keeps locking into the Minecraft screen, and that's not what I want to do. I want to be able to show you how the desktop uh, process works. So Minecraft's loading, excellent. And I'm just gonna hop in on a single player game. Uh, we'll just go to this random world really quickly here. And here we are. I think this actually, now I've, I've downgraded back to 1.7 so I can play in some other servers. And I think this is one of the worlds I generated in 1.8, but that's okay. I wonder if the villages will still be there. Well, so what I do is I'll uh, record some footage and you know have my time there and, and record away. And in this case, I'm just swimming off in these islands and heading my way uh, over into uh, where the village was in my 1.8 video. Uh, mind you though, again, I'm back on 1.7, so if that's confusing, sorry. Uh, but basically I'm just using the generated world from 1.8 in my 1.7 game. And for the most part it works. Uh, I'm curious actually when I get over there to see what happened to the pane of glass that was in those uh, village huts. So I'll record some footage, and you know, right now we're doing me swimming, all that jazz. And there's two ways I record footage uh, when I record. One, like I'm doing now, where I'm actually narrating live as I'm doing it. Uh, but much more common lately, uh, especially for all the chunk error videos, other than I think the first one, I will record the footage with no mic. Uh, because then I don't have to think about it. <laughs> and then I will go back and kind of narrate it live. Uh, what I find actually is when I do it live, uh, or I'll do uh, narrate, not live, narrate on a replay. And what I find when I do that is by narrating on the replay, I tend to actually speak faster and get more information in and kind of have a better flow. Uh, when I'm playing live, and this is one reason I don't typically do a lot of Let's Plays, I don't really know what to think of unless I have a very specific mission in mind. So I'll uh, get my footage, and in this case now I'm just interested to see uh, the village. So I'm going to fast forward real quick and get to the village. Now that we're in the village, I should point out this is the view you're used to seeing where it's just the Minecraft window. And so I'd get my footage here. Uh, I wouldn't be recording my desktop, and I'm just curious to see if there's glass panes at all, if they just disappeared altogether. Yep, they just disappeared altogether. All right, so I get my footage, and when I'm happy with it, I stop recording this. And then I pop into Sony Vegas. So let me do that. So here we are in Sony Vegas. Uh, this is the software editor I use to do my editing. And you can see I actually already loaded the, the intro track there where I was chatting with y'all. Um, and I synced up the audio. So my camera I'm using, I don't actually have a webcam right now. And so I was using my Canon uh, 60 D60 uh, to shoot the video, but the onboard mic sucks. And so the mic you see right here in this still is a Blue Yeti mic, and I really like it. It's a great USB mic. Uh, they actually make a Blue Yeti Plus now, which is uh, USB as well as standard um, microphone cabling. So uh, both are awesome options. So what I would do now is bring my footage in. So let me go ahead and grab that and kind of show you. And so that all comes in the videos for me. Plunk, plunk. And I'll just drag it right into the timeline and give it a few seconds to load. And it's building the peaks of the audio uh, from the recording. And again, sometimes I'll mess with the audio, sometimes I won't. In this case, what I'm actually going to do is uh, take out the hiss because I do have some fans running in the background. It's hot here. Um, and so I'm going to need to do that. So I drag all of my clips together, make sure they all look 
in the right order, like they're making sense, kind of like what they're supposed to be. And um, let's see here. Sometimes I'll put about a two second fade. And so by dragging them over each other, it allows me to fade them together. Do, 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 do. And that's good enough. Uh, generally, I do get very picky that I want to be exactly two seconds. And it's going to bother me there. So I'll let them fade. And then I'll, you know, I'll watch clips. So here we go. Let's see what we hear. Go then, because uh, that's what this one's going to be. So we'll see you all in a bit. Hey, everybody. So here we are on my desktop. And so there you go. That's kind of meta. Uh, you're, you're watching the video about watching the video while I'm making the video. I think I did that right. Um, so you'll have all those clips there. And so uh, what you probably saw is I, I said I would speed forward. And so how do I speed? And I've done this in a few videos. Well, I find the piece of the video I want, and then I can actually just speed up the playtime. Uh, so that way you don't have to watch me run it. And so to do that, it's super simple. I just split the track, drag it in, bring this over here. We'll shrink this one down too. And I connect them. And that's really it. You know, the, w at the end of the day, all the only other things I do are um, I go ahead and I add in the uh, the different screens and the different like splash screens, um, which you'll see me do in a second here. And and that's about it. And then I'm done. Uh, so I hope that gives you at least an idea. So I do the editing in Sony Vegas. Uh, do the the voice work um, generally after the fact. I use a Blue Yeti mic to record and I use a lot of fraps for my videos. So hopefully you found that interesting. Uh, if not, that's okay too. Um, let me know. So we'll see you all later and have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>